Hey, how's it going? Um, it's been a while between videos. Um, what we're doing today is only a quick one. We've got my diff here. Um, it's a 4.3 um, diff uh, out of a Turbo 33 Skyline. We're going to be putting some fresh oil in it. We've opened it up, checked it, make sure it's all good, clean inside, nothing's too mangled, so it's really good. We've already opened it and resealed it. It's currently dry, so what we'll do today is we'll put some fresh oil in it and then we'll pop it into the car um, with the GK Tech um, diff push kit that we've got. Um, and then that's pretty much ready to go for the drive shafts to get connected and then the rear end's all assembled. So stay tuned. All right, we're just gonna take the drain plug out first, put some Teflon on it, tighten that back up, and then we'll undo the fuel plug, put some oil in it. Do you mind holding that, mate? Thank you, sir. standard this is a thirsty diff it's almost empty bro is it yeah that's crazy I think that's it now Alrighty, so the diff's all filled up with oil, it's all sealed up. Um, we're just going to put it up into the, um, the rear subframe now. Um, got a little washer that will feed onto the mounting bolts on the back of the diff. That'll go first. And then we've got this plate that slides in from the back into the bush. And then just a factory nut on the back there, tighten that down. And then washer and bolt for the front mount that just sits up here. So uh, me and Ryan will just bang that in now. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take too long. So the diff's in, everything's tightened up okay. Um, it was a bit awkward back here, um, but we got it done with the uni joint. Um, so yeah, we'll just connect the drive shafts and then it should be gone. Next day on the rear end, uh, on the 33, we are going to put in the drive shafts today. Um, had to get them sent away and just refurbished a bit because the boots were a bit dry and crackly. Um, so we'll put that in now, um, attach it to the diff that we put in um, yesterday. Um, we've already got one side in, we'll take you through how to do it. Um, this is with all the arms still connected, um, the diff in. Uh, so we'll maneuver it a bit and show you how it all works and goes together. Alright, so we've got the drive shaft here, all shiny and new. So we're going to feed it in through this side of the subframe and go over and then slide it in. And then put it up here and then uh, put in the nuts and bolts. So that's in now. So that was actually pretty easy. This is the longest side, so there's a short side and a long side. The short side was a bit tighter, but um, that all worked pretty well. 
So we'll get the five nuts and bolts and we'll rotate the wheel and then put them in through the bottom, just two 14 mil spanners. So nut on the diff side, otherwise they're painful to get out. Alright, they're all done. Next step is at the other end of the drive shaft, so we've got a washer, a big nut, 36 mil, castle nut and then a split pin. So washer, put the big boy in now. This gets tightened down really tight, it's somewhere between 250 and 270 newton meters. So I'll get the gun on it first and then we'll get the torque wrench out just to finish it up. Alrighty, so because we're going to torque it down to 270, um, if it's on the hoist, it'll just keep spinning. So we just put the wheels back on, took the center caps out. Um, we'll get the torque wrench on it just to get it down to 270. Then pop the wheels back off, put the crown cap on, um, split pin, and then we're, we're done. Wheels back on, and happy days. And we're done. This just goes on top, just like that. Make sure the gaps line up with the holes there. Slide that through. You can use pliers, use your hands, whatever's easier. <clears throat> Alright, that's not going anywhere. We'll go to the other side. Alright, so that's all done. Thanks for watching that one. It was a quick one. Have a good night. Take it easy. Okay, forget it. I won't, I won't put it. I'll get fired. I now have a fucking diff.